this video, we demonstrate our new glider prototype. It's an underwater glider, a special type of autonomous underwater vehicle, which is used primarily for oceanographic data collection. Typical underwater gliders can last up to six hours or even two years on a battery charge, whereas your normal underwater autonomous vehicle will last no longer than a week on a single battery charge. This is a demonstration model, which will be used for educational purposes to show people how underwater gliders work. First, we're going to go over the physical characteristics of the glider. We have a pair of wings designed after sailplane wings, which can convert vertical force into forward motion. The glider uses a buoyancy engine, which directly produces vertical forces up and down. We have a tail on the glider, which serves to eliminate yaw drift. This increases the directional stability of our steering. We use a set of three medical syringes as a cheap way of altering the buoyancy of the glider. When the syringes are completely full of water, the glider is slightly heavier than the water around it, and the front end is slightly heavier than the back end. This causes the glider to tip forward, which makes the wings drive it forward as it sinks. When the syringes are completely empty, the front end is lighter than the back end, and the entire glider is slightly lighter than the water around it. This causes the glider to again move forward as it rises. The three syringes are sealed against the inner end cap. There's a hole going through the entire end cap for each syringe. Water is communicated through these holes to the syringes as the syringes are drawn back and forth. The end caps are made up of three parts. An inner end cap with a 60 degree chamfer for an O-ring to seat against, and an outer end cap with another 60 degree chamfer which then seats against the O-ring. The two end caps are drawn together by a bolt hole circle of 8 quarter 20 bolts. These compress the O-ring, making it form a good seal against both end caps and the outside of the tube. This seal has been extremely effective in keeping water out of the inside of the glider. That pretty much covers all the major mechanical components of the glider. Now we're going to do a demonstration of it in action. Right now the syringes are being drawn backward, drawing water into the glider and causing the front end to tip down. As the glider becomes heavier than the water, it will then sink, with the wings driving it forward as it goes. When it reaches the bottom, it will proceed to eject the water, causing it to tip back up and move forward, rising through the water. Now repeat the demonstration with water, so you can see as the glider sinks below the surface, as it draws the water in, it then flies toward the bottom. When it reaches the bottom, the syringes are reversed, and the water is ejected. This causes the glider to tip up and rise back to the surface of the water. Thank you for watching our demonstration of our new prototypes.